So you've all seen this clock on a lot of big YouTubers channels and I always wanted to get one of these two. I thought that for $200 I could at the very least expect a lot of consistency in terms of performance, seamless usability and functionality or at the very least a premium build. But I was wrong in every way possible. But I do still own one of these and this is all for the sake of my dear ego. Introducing the Lemetric Time. Here are the good, the bad, and the really ugly about this device before you go ahead and spend your own money on it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. For more great content just like this, just make sure to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Also, leave a like and a comment down below with all of your thoughts on this video. And while you're at it, I always leave affiliate links down below in the description as well. But make sure that you check out Lusterville so you can find the best deals on all of that tech that you're shopping for. It's a simple browser extension that helps you make the best purchasing decision. And lastly, don't forget to check out my merch store if you're into some monochrome clothing like everything I'm wearing right here. So with that said, links to everything down below. And as usual, we're going to start off with an unboxing. This Glock is going to arrive in a pretty small box and inside you're going to find instructions, the micro USB cable for power and the clock itself. And that is going to be essentially it for that. There isn't much else inside. And the exterior design is going to consist of plastic. It is going to have a soft touch material all throughout which feels actually pretty nice in hand until you pick it up and realize that it feels hollow inside. Feels kind of cheap for such an expensive product. It's got a matte display that does a fantastic job at deflecting light and gets very bright. You'll also find some satisfying to press controls for switching between modes and volume controls and power controls and that sort of thing. It is going to be a small clock that displays everything in giant pixels and it does look quite nice on my setup, I do have to say. However, the setup process was the first sign of trouble for me upon getting this. This will only work on a 2.4 GHz network, which is fine, but you need to download the Lemetric app to connect this over the web and download the different plugins. It just wouldn't connect to my network on the first three hours of me trying it and following the instruction. I had to restart my modem so many different times and even then it still wouldn't work. I had a lot of issues getting it to work on Android so I had to resort to my iPhone and I still had a lot of issues until it finally, from a miracle of sorts, just connected randomly. But once I was in, I didn't need to worry about it afterwards, but it was far too tedious to begin with, if I'm completely honest. And from here, you can actually see that this is capable of behaving as a clock, as a radio, as a timer, as a stopwatch, as a sub counter, as pretty much anything that you would like it to be or that would be of use essentially. Again, like you're going to have an entire store of free apps like for you to download that you could use as plugins for this clock and they will pretty much behave as you would want and they could do a variety of different things. However, I'm going to get into my experiences with a lot of those right now. Most importantly, you can use this as a sub counter for your YouTube channel that will let you know whenever you gain any subscribers and you can use it as a follower or subscriber counter for Twitch or for Twitter or Instagram and even as an alert box for lack of better words for when you get a new email and it tells you who sent it along with the subject. I do find that to be quite useful and I like that quite a bit. And in theory, they can do quite a lot for you, right? Though there are more plugins to look at, I didn't need anything else, so I just kind of stuck with these for the time being. And mostly everything works as intended or partially. I will explain what I mean right now. So the sub counter wasn't too hard to get to work, but it's still a little bit glitchy. It displays uh, the name of the channel just fine. And it also shows me my subscriber count, which I love in the app. It lets you choose when you want to be notified of when you get a sub. So like if you get one sub, 10 subs, 20, and 50, 100, etc. But the plus one doesn't work at all. And it just defaults back to every 10 subscribers for some reason. So I don't know why they offer that option in the first place. And only rounds up or down depending on where you're at. It's kind of annoying, but it mostly works right, right? And when I get a new follower on Twitch, half of the Twitch logo shows along with the number of followers that I just gained at that time. This is just strange. Twitter works fine though, so yay. <laughs> but Instagram requires that I link my Facebook account to my Lemetric Time, but I don't have my Tech Summit Instagram linked to any Facebook account at all. 
So I left it at that. That means I can't use the Instagram features here either. And the email notifications rarely work as I hardly ever get any notifications here. It's just so strange. <laughs> so really, in conclusion, this clock is far too glitchy for me to recommend. And it's really just a glorified ego boost. It doesn't do much more beyond just showing off your accomplishments and it half asses it along the way. And the setup was annoying and none of these plugins work 100% as intended. But I've kept it because I, I didn't pay the $200 asking price for it brand new. I got it used for around 130 bucks off of Amazon, which is actually a pretty decent deal. I would have never paid those 200 because even 130 is still a lot of money for something like this, really. And even then, it's given me more problems than not. However, in spite of this discount, it is still pretty cool to have, but I don't see Lometric or those like developers of the plugins doing much to fix these glitches in the future. Pretty hard contacting them for support anyway, so, no, I don't recommend this. It is going to be a waste of money for you. However, if you're still interested in checking this out, I am still going to leave affiliate links down in the description because your luck might be different than mine and it might actually work out for you. So if you're still interested, affiliate links down below. If you end up using that, I get a small commission that does help me run things a little bit more smoothly around here. So I'd appreciate that quite a bit. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitch where I like to stream every Friday and Saturday, usually from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern time. So it is usually pretty late at night, but we tend to have a pretty good time. So I would encourage you to stop by if that is something that interests you. And make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well for any updates. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Hopefully you enjoyed this review or rant, and I will see you all on the next one. Enjoy. Enjoy.